over the weekend, I did nothing. I basically played Minecraft all weekend, which was fine. I feel awesome and refreshed and rejuvenated and all that. But uh, let the household chores go by the wayside, and I've got a bunch of videos to edit. Right, Cat? Yeah. I was just taking the trash out, and I found this. Is it a bat? Is it alive? I'm afraid to touch it. Hank was just sitting here in this office and he was like, I should record a daily vlog. So he busted out his camera and <laughs> we did a whole like, it, it was like 10, 10 minutes, minutes so. of video. It turned out instead of hitting record, he just took a picture. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning! I'm not a very good vlogger. I should probably look into a different career. <laughs> so look yeah. forward to not seeing that on Hank's yeah. channel. <laughs> that was just for us, you guys. <laughs> just for us. We did have some laughs. I just submitted my application for the University of Montana. I'm having my transcript from film school sent over. So we'll see how much transfers. Look at that sky, kitty. Isn't that a pretty sky? It's like six hours later and the bat's still there. I don't know what to do with it. We're at Walmart, but I'm not getting bacon. I still have some at home. Instead, I'm loading up on pepperoni. <laughs> Stefan, look at all the soups. I like the soups. Oh, look at this soup. Hey, don't touch my soup. Chicken vegetable rotiny, beef pot roast. No. Here, grab with this hand. No, with the hand. Grab with the hand. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm really excited right now. This is an album called Tribal Opera by a guy named Mark Hurd. It came out in 1987. My mom had the cassette tape in our car when I was young and she would play it all the time. I've been trying to track down a CD copy of this album for a long time. Years and years and years. But today, Alan Lestufka showed me a website called Discogs.com. Apparently it's a place where people sell super rare albums, and I found one. So when that album arrives, I can blast it in my car, and it'll be like 1989 all over again. I just finished editing some footage from the Minecraft server. Uh, a group of us went on this quest set up by a fellow player, and it was fun. So if you want to see that, there's a link in the description. That was 177 point something pounds today, but that's... Um, almost 10 pounds down in the last four weeks. I'm currently hanging out at around 20% body fat. Ideally, I'd like to get under 15%. That's the goal. You can really tell that we're headed towards winter now. It's, it's getting colder at night. Based on your input last week, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and try to do five games at a time on what I'm putting right now on the gaming channel. I wrote up a little schedule, and I, I don't want to force myself to stay to this, uh, but I just generally want to aim for Monday's Minecraft videos. Tuesday's will be my eh game. I'll explain that in a second. Wednesday, Amnesia. Thursday, Bioshock. Friday, Super Meat Boy. So I have a lot of games in my Steam library, and a good handful of them I really have no interest in playing. Some of them were gifted to me, uh, some of them I picked up for whatever reason because they were like a dollar during a Steam sale. Some of them come in bundles, like Humble Bundles, so I, I paid the money to get one of the games in the pack and I wasn't really that interested in the other 14, but even for that one it was still worth it. So to get through those games that I'm really not that interested in playing, I'm gonna pick one at a time and force myself to do it and that'll be Tuesdays. In other news, in the morning, Apple has their uh, iPhone 6 and possibly iWatch. Since I do all these videos on my iPhone, I'm really interested in anything that will improve that experience. Currently, rumor has it that the next iPhone may include some sort of optical image stabilization right in the phone. So you know how YouTube has that thing where it sort of digitally tries to zoom into the image and pan around to smooth it out and it kind of sucks. But optical image stabilization is where components in the camera actually move to compensate for any shake introduced by being handheld. That'll be exciting. So I guess we'll see what they say tomorrow. I'm gonna edit this video and go to sleep. So I will see you tomorrow, possibly.